Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Carlos with Twins Reef, and today I'm bringing you guys an update on my Red Sea Max E170. So let's begin. All right, so it's been a while since I've done a update on this tank. I think in the last video that I made, I was telling you guys that I was having a cyanobacteria, and I decided to actually start treating with ChemiClean. After I noticed that I seen some cyano in one of my torches head um, and, and it ended up actually killing that head of that torch, I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger with ChemiClean. I was trying to do it a different route but it just took too, too long and I had so little patience as I started seeing some of my corals to not look good and the cyanobacteria to overpopulate. Um, so it's been about two to three weeks now that I dosed ChemiClean and I haven't seen any signs of cyanobacteria. What I have seen is this type of diatom. It's like the brown diatom. It's basically the type of diatom you see when you freshly cycled a tank. Um, since I heard that ChemiClean actually kills good and bad bacteria, that could possibly be the case. And I also just added a, um, a full bag of Matrix uh, to host the beneficial bacteria. As one of my buddies, both Calypso and Benny from Benny's Aquariums, had recommended to keep um, filter media so that I'll have a good population of bacteria. So that's what I decided to do. So in what I think a lot has actually changed um, with my tank, especially with the corals. Um, as you guys could obviously see that torch right there is bleaching. It was actually green tentacles with um, yellow tips and now it's not doing so good. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to place it in the shade. Um, it's been like that for a week. At first there was no tentacles, finally the tentacles are out. I fed it and um, but it lost its color so it could probably be that it's stress or um, the light is too intense for it since I got it. Um, from a local bender depending how was his light also the torch that had actually lost one of its heads is that torch here in the middle it was a two-headed torch now it's only one when i'd seen the cyano um, by the head like right in the edge of the skeleton um, i actually got rid of it but it somehow got an infection i don't know what happened but it stripped and it died and then um, if you guys can see there that that was my end of gold torch um, and sadly it died. I don't know it got stressful. I don't know if it was because of the light or It was because I dosed chemi clean, but I lost my endo torch and I was really upset since endo torch corals are expensive um, So yeah, anyhow, let's start with the corals. Let's start with the left side today So I haven't got anything new as you guys can see I still have my rastas my tang is always photobombing the videos and photos and here is that green tentacle with um, yellow tip torch that is bleaching so I'm gonna put it in the shade and let it be for a week or two and hopefully it recovers that color I am going to uh, feed it and yeah let's see how it goes then that's that other torch that I have it was two heads now it's only one due to the cyanobacteria then here is another pretty cool torch that I like it's pink tips and here's another green tip torch that I also like. That one's like three to four heads. I think it's beautiful. What well, my buddy Benny was recommending is actually that you feel it like being in the bottom part of the tank. But um, I think this should be fine there. It's actually just like a two foot, um, two foot height. And then not only that, but I think I have my lights at eight to nine inches above water. Now we have go there, we have a green chalice. Um, we have that Dragon Soul Fabia that finally I know the name of it thanks to Calypso. And then I have my Trumpet Coral next to the Spicy Lemon Fabia, which is always weird to find a Fabia up there. It should be in the bottom, but um, I just placed it there for some reason. Then I have my Digitata, and usually I have a Bubblegum Digitata somehow. It just fell off, so I need to look for it. Now we move a little bit to the right, um, we still have my splatter um, hammer, then we have another hammer over there which uh, I don't know the name for it. Then we have my hologram hammer, we have the orange octospawn and the bicolor hammer. 
Here we have the um, kryptonite mushroom, hairy mushroom. We have the wild um, Deadpool right there once the yellow tank gets out the way. And then we have the super freak mushroom to the left. That's pretty much with corals. I'm not adding anything to this tank for a while. Um, I, I'm still, I still haven't fixed that that wave maker so i need to do that when i get time or at least pull it out because i don't want um algae to be on it you know make the situation even worse i also just noticed i need to give, give that ai neuro 5 a clean as well for fish guys i have the yellow tank i have the two uh mocha clowns like i told you guys previously it got black so now i think we can actually call them uh, black storms because yeah I don't see any of that mocha color just black the one in the back is a little bit more brownish but the one in the front is definitely dark black as my yellow tang we have my um, purple dotty back and the six line rats that just passed and we have my mandarin goby that's pretty much for this um, tank I just did start it to actually start I'm doing water changes once a week. Yes, it's more water, more salt that I am using, but um, it's something that I'm going to start doing. Um, I know that Calypso and both Benny and I think Straight Reefer are doing the same as a water change every week. Um, I should probably do it twice every other week, but I'll give it a try for once a week and we'll see how everything goes. So far guys, everything looks healthy and good. The only issue I had was the cyanobacteria and killing off one of the heads of my torches, my endo gold dying, and that torch there bleaching. Uh, when I seen that endo to uh, the endo gold torch that wasn't doing good, sorry the fish are in the front because I haven't fed them, I need to do that. Um, I seen a stress, so it might have been my fault. I actually did dip it with the bright well um, frag recover. Um, basically you frag it's when like it's what it says for recovery of live coral frags and regen regeneration of cut coral tissue so this is what people use when they frag their corals more there is tissue um, exposed so they won't get bacteria or something like that um, I should have done iodon dip but um, well, I should have just left it as is. I was so tempted to actually did that that torch there, but I didn't. Um, probably, you know what? I could probably be saving it because if I would have dipped it, it could have probably even stressed it out more and died. Um, now I kind of did regret it, um, dipping my torch, my end of gold. But you know what? We learned from this hobby. So yeah, guys, thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope it wasn't that boring. Uh, if you like this content you guys are welcome to subscribe like comment down below until later guys happy reefing everybody twins reef is out peace